going to use it as a simple basis to introduce myself. It also means, uh, if you like, I have a, an intention here that you have a sense of the model, so I'll then explain it in more detail later on. But it starts at the bottom, which is um, at the environment level, saying outside in the world, what, you know, where do I work, what do I do? So in the world, I suppose I am an NLP trainer, I am a writer, I'm also a coach, I still see clients. Um, and lastly, I'm also kind of a retired businessman, uh, I don't know, a business person. I sold a business that I started about four years ago, but I still keep a small team and run some investments. So that's sort of what I do in the world, if you like. How do I, you know, yeah, that's a behavior of what I do out there in the world. So behavior is something that I do, the world is outside of me. So sometimes we talk about stimulus and response and psychology. Outside of me is a stimulus, and then it comes in through my five senses, and I have a certain behavior in reaction to that stimulus. So those were the, my various behaviors. So how do I do all that stuff? Well, I don't know. I suppose because I'm an entrepreneur, I've always been orientated towards doing something before I knew how to do it. I know that's not always common wisdom. Somebody once described um, an entrepreneur as somebody who takes the plane off and then builds it while it's sort of in the, in the sky. So I sort of would describe myself a bit like that, sometimes do things a bit too quickly. But how do I do these things? I mean, I would say that how I teach NLP is I teach it the way I would like to learn. I don't like being patronized. Um, I like the idea that there isn't too much talking and there's a lot of interaction. Um, and I, I, I don't like it if somebody is supercilious and says, I'm better than you. You know, I have my own problems, probably why I went into this area. I still have problems in some ways. So I use NLP and I also share that. I'm not saying that I've reached some moral superiority and I'm going to sort of talk down to you all because I find that really irritating. Um, Sorry, a bit of a pet peeve there, clearly. Uh, how do I do the business thing? I suppose I've been doing that for 30 years. I've been doing leadership development and coaching and so forth. Most of the people I coach now tends to be more, probably closer to therapy than, than sort of coaching to help them get their goals, but the two sort of seem to mix quite well. Um, and then the next level up is why, the motivation. Why do I do all these different things? Um, and I suppose, for me, I look back on my own journey. There was a certain time where, when I was younger, that I was very insecure to go into business. I went to university, I took quite a formal degree. I was trying to get a job. I couldn't really find a job in my kind of mid twenties. So I went into business and my dad sort of took me under his wing. I hadn't seen that much of my dad until then, but he sort of suddenly started being really helpful and was sort of like a mentor and a coach to me. And then I went into business and within 10 years, I had a bigger business than he did. I, mean, I became very successful. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I felt if there wasn't somebody who sort of believed in me and helped me in the beginning, I wouldn't have really been able to go on that path. So I very much like the idea of trying to share that. So that possibly is a matter of maybe an identity. Who am I? I am an entrepreneur, but my sort of bigger purpose is I want to sort of share with others the journey I've had. And sometimes it's best summed up by saying this for me, that NLP at some point when I became, if you like, successful financially and you know, in a business sense, I started having kind of mental health problems. So I sort of thought that seemed too big a price to pay. Is it possible to be this successful and happy? And I believe it is, it, you know, it requires a sort of shift of your energy or direction. And that's my vision, if you like, that I want to share with other people that, that you can fulfill your potential and you can go down a different path if you choose to do so. So that's an introduction to the logical levels. I'll come back to it in a minute. Um, but does that all make sense? 